Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the Shabbat service. On this, what's today, the 29th. first? 29th. 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 Uh, February 29th, uh, 2020. Let's get ready to get in the word. Let's go to Luke. Luke, the 23rd chapter, and we'll start at the 34th verse. Look what it says. Then said Yahushua, Father, forfeit, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Uh, latter clause again. Then Yahushua, then said Yahushua, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Um... I had a thought. I was talking with my niece the other day. We was in the car rolling. And the thought was, um, what was it? Do you remember? What? Let me think. I, I, I want to take that as a topic. It was, uh, it was, uh, come on. I need a thought. Come on, Trenda. I wasn't here. <laughs> what, what was the thought? Uh, was your teacher on uh, Facebook? No, I haven't talked. It was a conversation her and I was having, and I said, "You know what? I don't have the privilege of like having pre messages. I get it soon as you know, I preach so much. I got to didn't have it. it he give it to me off the press, right? But this particular time, it was such a great thought that I wanted to share it, right? And it was um, something about not being offended, though. It was never something." Never. I know what it's about, but never what? Never offended or never the victim. That's it. Now I'm ready. Never the victim. That's what I'm talking about today. <laughs> um. When 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 you. Understand the gospel, right? Hebrews, right? Bessere. When, when you understand what the gospel really is, right? It is the death, burial, and resurrection, right? And the religious state of mind automatically goes to the death, burial, and resurrection of the Savior, minus themselves. Yeah. They look at the benefit of his death, burial, and resurrection. So when one gets saved, and we would understand that when they come to him, they're, they're, they're thinking more on the lines of what he's going to do for them. Not realizing that eventually it's going to be what you can do for the body, for the cause. And that takes maturity. You got to learn how to put things in its proper perspective. And you learn it as you grow, right? When you look at the demographic of people, you look at like, like a scripture like St. John 3 and 16, right? And it says, for Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right? That whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, right? The gave is loaded. Thank you, sir. The gave is loaded, right? Because the gave entails the word being born of a virgin. So the will of the Most High, his voice of the Creator, right? He's a spirit. The word, the Messiah said, the words are speaking to you, spirit in life, right? The word is spirit. Well, the word was born of a virgin. To live the perfect life as a human being, as a, our example. So you got the word in, 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 in a body, right? Timothy 3 and 16, and without controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness, right? Yah was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached on the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received back from the glory. It was the most high, the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah, the word was Yah. So the word, what he told us to do, 
how he created us, being embodied in the body. Now, look at the position that the body is in. The body, you know, the word says we have the treasure in earthly vessels. We're the earthly vessel. The treasure is his spirit, his will, the word. Look at the position that the body is in now. The body now has to neglect its former agenda. Willingly. Right? That's why the word says, reckon yourself to be dead unto sin, unto yourself, right? But alive unto the most high. Because he has an agenda. And that agenda is you have to abide in selflessness. You can't be into you and run this race. So you now have a mission that's greater than how you feel about it. What it look like to you, what it smell like to you, what it tastes like to you, what it sound like to you, what it feel like to you. Whole nother level. Way beyond man's wisdom. This is a whole nother thing here. And one has to come to grips with that. In this race, you will. Now, to give you a sneak peek, to be honest with you, I'm able to articulate what I'm saying to you, right, verbally. But this happens in a supernatural form to the true believer. I'm going to let you know that. You ain't got to articulate what I'm saying in order to walk in. In fact, it happens soon as you receive him. The power of what I'm describing verbally happens in your soul, unbeknownst to you, when you really get in contact with him. That's just food for thought. But the level of selflessness that one has to engage is real. It's the death, burial, and resurrection for you too. Right? That's why Romans the 6th chapter describes that we're going to be baptized into his death. Right? It, it, 6 and 1 says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Right? It says, Yah forbid. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into the Messiah, was baptized into his death? Right? We, if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. It went on to let us know that he that is dead, because we've been baptized to his death, right? It said, he that is dead is freed from sin. You're dead. Your agenda shifts. It changes. Um, the word comes. Demographic it came for. A disobedient people. A sinful people. People that will commit adultery. People that will commit fornication, sleeping around. People that get high. People that get drunk. People that tell lies. Sin. Going against the mother. That's the demographic of the world came to do what? Rescue. For y'all so loved the world that he gave. That's a deep gave, y'all. He gave his life. But not only in death on that tree, on that straw, that torture stake, but he gave his life from the day-to-day -day operations of his life, walking in a certain level of self-denial. But see, you got to know this. Because if you don't know, you'll continue to live for yourself onto yourself. You'll continue, your, 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 your main objective for your life will be your selfish and, and ambitions. You want you and yours. Well, what about me and mine? What makes you and yours better than me and mine? And what about us with they and theirs? But see, just because the word was embodied in a human being, it didn't stop its universal love, nor the obligation that it undertook when it was found fashioned as a man. All the way down to him understanding that the demographic he came to, to help is the same demographic that would go against him. Mm. <laughs> he understood that. He understood that what I'm explaining to you right now, they didn't know. They was religious. You have religious folks that do religious practices, burn incense and candles, and fold up like a pretzel and start humming and stuff. Talk about some energies and some, yeah, yeah, you got a whole bunch of folks. Got boxes of candles now. So smelling like sage. Because they don't know. And when you don't know and you're led by what you see, what you smell, what it tastes like, what it sounds like, what it feels like, when you're led by your humanism, you automatically are against the most high. 
And when things happen to you, you going to take it personal. Yeah. Y'all ever heard the saying, uh, hurt people hurt people? Right. <laughs> you see somebody going around hurting people? Right. I guarantee you they've been hurt. I guarantee you. Some of the biggest victimizers sit down and talk to them. They the victim. Let them tell them. <laughs> Folks who want to cry foul all the time. They don't get it. Want to want to want to protect themselves. Want to want to want to take up for themselves. Forgot the fact that they're adulterer. Right. Forgot the fact they're a fornicator. Forgot the fact all the people they hurt, all the lies they told, yeah. all, all, all the cars they keyed, and all the windows they broke, <laughs> and all the bushes they hid in. Come on, somebody. <laughs> mm. Folks have amnesia when it comes to themselves. Hurting, hurt, hurt, hurt people, hurt people. But when, but when you receive the true gospel, when you get to know the creator, the first thing you realize is that you've been wrong. And, and to start the relationship with him, he had to forgive you. That's the whole premise of the gospel. Is the fact that you were proven to be a sinner. By the revelation of his word. The revelation came to give you life, but the first thing he give you is revelation concerning yourself. When the word first come, it shows you where you at. It accuses you of being the sinner. Whoever believed, for Yahshua so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the son piece was the human part to live the example and to be, and to be that sacrifice. But what was inside of the son was the necessary reconciliation. And that's to be reconciled with the voice of the creator of all. So the main premise is that you met the word. And when you met the word, you should have said, whoa, it's me. You became guilty. Yeah, I'm guilty. Yeah, I'm wrong. And yeah, I'm a believer. And I don't want to stay wrong. Word says this, my sheep hear my voice. You got folks that are awful running around here. Uh, but, they, but they don't know him. They don't know him yet. They're doing their natural born thing. They was born in sin, shaped in iniquity. They're doing all, the only thing they know. Our refuge is we got a book that tells the past, present, and future, and every prophecy in it is coming to pass seamlessly. He is supernatural. He just ain't going to leave you in the book just on the letter of the word, he will show up supernaturally in your life and prove himself to be strong to the believer. The one that actually believes him and trusts him. Give him a shot at the title. Mm -hmm. But the first move was, when you believed, you received knowledge of yourself and your filthiness. You received knowledge of your wrong. Something wrong when you receive the gospel and the only thing you can talk about is somebody else, what they did. It didn't, it didn't stick. Something, 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 something just ain't right. Something. When I say that again, what's your first words? Is what they did what? The word didn't reveal what you did? Right. See, in Acts 2, 2, 2 and 36, when Peter, Peter, Peter was the one that was given the keys by the Messiah to unlock the gospel, Right? In Matthew's the 16th chapter, right? And, and, and so here he is on the day of Pentecost, right? And, and, and uh, you know, they're speaking in other languages, they, they, tongues. They think it's all that old gibberish they be talking. No, it was languages. And they were speaking the wonderful works of the Most High. Then the mic was handed to uh, Peter, and he was talking to Israel because they just got through killing him, right? And, and so he said, therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that Yah had made that same uh, Yahushua, a uh, 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 Messiah and Master. In King James Version, it said Lord and Savior, right? But made him Yah, Elohim, and, 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 and the Savior, right? When they heard this, right, they were pricked in their hearts. Prick means they regretted it. The revelation of what they did. They didn't know what they was doing, but that's what they did. They went against the rescue mission. They killed the embodiment of the word because of their carnal 
nature because they were religious and they didn't have a true relationship with him. So they killed him trying to get rid of the message, trying to get rid of the guilt, trying to get rid of the responsibility, trying to get rid of the necessity of change, trying to get rid of it. I kill it. I kill him. Thereby killing it. They didn't like the word. It wasn't him. They didn't like the word that was in him. Had he been like Barabbas, they would have said, give me uh, uh, the Messiah. But the Barabbas was carnal and filthy like them. And folks that's filthy like other filthy folks around. Right. So they can feel comfortable. They, folks don't want to be feeling uncomfortable. Excuse me, I'm a good person. Kill him. <laughs> folks thought I was good until he came running his mouth. Kill him. <laughs> now get rid of what he said. But they were pricked. The key is the word came accused them of something they was guilty of and those that belonged to him were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? He said, repent. Stop. Repent. Be baptized. Everyone to you in the name of Yahushua. For the, for, for, the, for, for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the rule of Hakadah, his spirit. This promise is on to you, your children, and as many as are far off, even as many as Yah or Elohim, go call. Right? But my point is, the word came, accused them of being guilty, they were pricked. They weren't standing there blaming other folks. Look, since this is a short message, because I can't stay, but listen, I want y'all to get this. Religious people always complaining. Religious people got a long list of what everybody did to me. You carnal as they come. And folks that got a list on other folks are killing everybody on that list, I guarantee you. With their mouth, with their attitude. And if the truth be told, that everybody on your list, you crossing them as a victim. But you really the victimizer. You're never. I want you to hear this clearly. When you belong to the most high. How oh, can I talk like this? You're never the victim. Mm -hmm. Never. They, they, had, they had the Messiah. Hanging on the tree. And his response was forgive them. For they know not what they do. He didn't have to play the bigger person. He was the bigger person. And what made him the bigger person was the mission he was on. He understood that the demographic that he came to help needed help. He was given to rescue them. He was given to save them. And the mission wasn't over. It was still in process. You got to understand who you serve and will sleep with you if you let them. Who you serve and will cuss you out. Who you serve and will sleep with your spouse. Who you serve and will lie on you. Who you serve and is on drugs. Who you serve and will steal from you. Who you serve and you got to give up your evil nature and your agenda for the most high agenda. Because he so loved them that he gave. And when you line up to be saved, he's given you. As a living sacrifice, Romans the 12th chapter, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable on the yard. And he went on to say, and it is your reasonable service. He told you to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove something. Prove what's good and acceptable and his perfect will. You need to know that today. When you're saved for real, you're never the victim. Never. No such thing. Look at his protege, Stephen. He preached to Israel. And he told them that all the forefathers killed all the prophets. And you jokers standing here in, with your religious clothes on. And y'all just killed the, 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 what he called the, the Adonai of glory. The, 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 the Lord of glory, King James Version said. Y'all killed him. They got so mad that they rushed him on one accord. And began to stone him to death. They're hitting him with rocks. And as he was dying and being murdered, he said, 
Heavenly Father, lay not this sin at their charge. Because he was never the victim. Lying on me. Lying, I still love you. Talk about me, I still love you. Hate on me, I still love you because I'm never the victim. Because I promise you, if you become a victim, by default, you're going to turn into a victimizer. Because those that are, are in the flesh do mind things of the flesh. And becoming a victim is an attribute of somebody carnal, somebody fleshly. You did this to me, and you did that to me, and don't nobody understand, and they hurt me. And, and uh, while I'm telling you that, they hurt me, and so did you. And they did this, and they did that, because you carnal. Because you carnal. Folks that lied on me, I'm not their victim. I'm their brother. And I love them. Yeah. I'm not the victim. I'm not the victim if you cuss me out. I'm going to forgive you. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I'm not your victim. I can do all things through the Mashiach, the Messiah. That strengthens me. Victim? Keep my car. Take my money and don't give it back. I'm not your victim. I'm not going to hang that over your head. Because I didn't took somebody money before and didn't give it back. I didn't told a lie before. I didn't bust the window before. I didn't knock the tooth out before. Knock my tooth out, I'll go get me another one. <laughs> but I'm not your victim. I'm never. Can somebody say that with me? I'm never a victim. Never. And I ain't never going to be a victimizer. <laughs> because I'm not a victim. It don't compute. Everybody agree? Pop your palms for y'all because you were worthy. Hallelujah! Never. Mm -mm. No weapon for me. Mm -mm. Never. Resting, resting on your feet. Let's pray, y'all. Let's pray. Resting on your feet. Wall to wall, the tree top taller here. I thank everybody. Hallelujah for coming. I don't know what we're gonna do after this. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some. Y'all gotta hear this. I'm gonna keep this on. I'm gonna keep this on Facebook Live. Y'all gotta hear this. Y'all gotta hear this. Uh. My, my, my little uh, yard daughter got this song uh, and I want to thank the family for lending her lending her to me uh, being a part of my family because we love her dearly but she got this song y'all got to hear it oh my goodness so y'all stay tuned we got a treat for y'all but let's let's close out let's close out in prayer corporate prayer let's pray let's go forth from spirit, spirit of the living Elohim we, lo we love you uh, we thank you for your ruah, your spirit, your presence, uh, the truth of your word. It, it was short and precise and, and straight to the point. We're never, we're never, we're never the victim b b because we already laid our lives down. <laughs> uh, we, we, we laid our lives down in you. We, we partook in, 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 your, in your death. And because we partook in your death, we're a part of your resurrection. We got up uh, in your spirit because of your power, because of the truth of your word. And as you send us forth, we're, we're never the victim and we'll never be the victimizer. We come in the name of Yah. We come in the love of Yah. We come in the power of his spirit. Ah, oh, forgive them for they know not what they do. Lay not the sin that they charge. And continue to equip us, equip us to, 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 to love on them. Uh, we don't overcome evil with evil. We come over, overcome evil with good. By the leaning of, of the power of your spirit. Uh, knowing us to the bone from here to your throne that we may do your last day bidding uh, and we be careful to give you the praise and honor not only now but forever in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach we humbly pray Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 and all men
may take your seats in the presence of the Most High. Come on up. Yeah, yeah, I am. Come on up, sweetheart. Grab your uh, guitar. Y'all get ready for this. On Facebook? Yeah. Go for it. And then you want to roll it down? No, I'll stand right here. Do your thing. Uh, Facebook Live. Today we're doing a special um, something for uh, Pastor Derek, Watson Derek. Um, we asked him today that um, when you, I, I don't know the numbers, you should guys probably know whether it is. Tell me what's going on. The Cash App, um, you can send to the Cash App your best offering, dig deep in your pockets. We want to extra bless him and his family today if we can. Um, I guess your regular viewers, you know. What's yeah. What I give them? Yahoo, the dollar sign. 510 510 209 209 58 58 18 18 you can cash out there if you want to sow into the ministry we thank all of you who have been sowing and all of you who will today um we got here samara for you we're gonna drop this yeah drop this down pastor Derek. yes i will Bring the neck down. I am. Go for it. You're all right, sweetheart. You okay? Y'all bless her right now. Sing your song. Let's go before the throne of Yah. This is a spiritual warfare, a spiritual. 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 This is a spiritual warfare, a spirit
spiritual, a spiritual, a spiritual. Our souls are crying out to kill you. Our souls are crying out to kill you. Our souls are crying out. Our souls are crying out. I enjoyed that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank y'all for everyone that chimed in, fellowship. Well, didn't you love that, Teresa? Felicia? Rockins in the house as well. Thank thank the most high for you guys hanging out with us. Uh, definitely uh, we'll be back on uh, what's today? Monday. Monday. Monday morning, the most high permit. We'll be back on at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, for prayer at 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Hallelujah. Um, again, those of you who like to support the ministry, uh, the cash app uh, is a dollar sign Yahuda Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. You can put in the phone number 510-209-5818. Uh, continue to pray for us as we pray for you. We absolutely love you and thank you for hanging out. Y'all be Baruch and uh, Shabbat Shalom. We go. Hallelujah.